Yeah, this is another time to encounter God through His Word. So as you're about to listen to this message, I encourage you, don't be distracted. Just pay attention and I know that God is going to visit you and meet you at the point of your need. So without wasting much of our time, let's get into the message of today. God bless you. When you come to church, forget about the subject of us. The moment the word is coming, it is God and me and my destiny. Did you hear that? God, me and my destiny. Lord, what do you have to tell me today to make me wiser, to make me more powerful? What do I need to see today that will grant me dominion over elemental forces, dominion over that which limits mortal men? The proof that you met God is that you must rise higher than whatever challenge brought you to his presence. The value of an encounter with God is that you will live ascended higher than the limitations that brought you. I pray for someone again. By the time you are sharing the grace, it will be from an elevated standpoint in the spirit. And let me tell you one truth. Because you have left all to pay attention while you are listening to him, may angels, I'm speaking only to believers, I'm speaking only to believers, not hearers, believers. May the Lord release angels to begin to sort various aspects of your life in the name of Jesus. For someone, let me prophesy over you. This battle is not your own. Step back and watch God the warrior fight for you. Did you hear that? This battle is not for you. Step back and watch the mighty God step in for you. He says, the Lord will fight for you and you will hold your peace. I say it unto you, my God will fight for you and you will hold your peace in the name of Jesus. Hear me? There are times God gives you the strategy for victory. He will tell you, go around Jericho seven times. But there are times he will tell you, get out of the way. This is not your battle. I sense that someone has come into a season where your strength has failed. You have done everything you know to do. You have done everything you need to do. In the name of Jesus, may the God of vengeance, in the name of Jesus, may the mighty one who is bigger than you, stronger than you, wiser than you, may he step in on your behalf. May he step in on your behalf. May he step in on your behalf. In the name of Jesus. For someone I'm speaking over you, you have cried, you will not cry again. You have cried, you will not cry again. And the reason why you will not cry again is because the Bible says, weeping endures, not forever, but for a night. It says joy comes with the morning. And I've taught you here that morning is not just a chronological passage of time. I have taught you that the morning happens when your light comes. He called the light day and the darkness he called night. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, weeping comes to an end. Shame comes to an end. Reproach comes to an end. Struggles come to an end. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says for your shame you will receive double. Again, I'm speaking to believers. For everyone who has a face to believe. This week, I prophesy to you by the God who gave gifts to men. May my God surprise you. May my God surprise you. Things you did not expect, may they begin to happen for you. Hear me? And everyone who has laughed at you and mocked at your God, may this be the week God puts them to shame. Hallelujah. You believe what you just heard? I want to pray for you. The grace to know what God is doing. Listen, listen, listen. One of the greatest advantage in my life is the blessing of the seeing eye. When you are taken unawares by life, you don't know what God is doing. 
you don't know what tomorrow will be like many of us just stumble blindly into things you will see opportunities and leave it without knowing it is there I want to pray for you whatever has covered your eyes that you are not seeing what God is doing in your life you are not seeing what God is doing in Nigeria you are not seeing what God is doing in your ministry I pray for you now may your eyes be open spiritually may your eyes be open financially may your eyes be open to opportunities listen when you have the miracle of open eyes make reference to my teaching the seeing eyes there are things you should cry about that you'll be laughing because it is God making a testimony for you if you do not understand how God works you will be binding and casting something good that is coming to you because you just do not know it is God working. I'm praying for you again. Whatever needs to come as a blessing to your life, I bring it speedily to you. Koinonia, hear me. And I'm speaking to our global family. I cried to God this year and I said, Father, preserve my people for me. We are not ready for obituaries this year. Let me pray for you again. I'm praying for you. If there is any covenant that connects you to the grave, using sicknesses, using accidents, using plane crashes, using kidnaps, I decree and declare, be released now. Be released now. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is giving me one instruction. Please stretch your hands towards me. The Lord is saying I should speak over your hands. Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. Every good thing is received with the hands, not the feet. When I give you something, you receive it with your hand. No matter how heavy it is, you will try. Even if someone assists you still with the hand, I pray for you. As God has instructed that you stretch it towards me. If there is anything on your hand, that is a cost to your blessings that does not in the name of Jesus every chain holding your hand so that you cannot receive the reward God has for you I break that chain now I break I break that chain now. Every blessing my God has released, may it enter your hand. 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 Enter your hand. And that of your children. And that of your spouse. And that of your family members. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The last prayer that I want to pray over you again. I keep hearing in my spirit, just allow me honor God. 14th is Valentine. I want to use this opportunity and pray against the spirit destroying families. If it's not your business, don't receive. But if you care, please receive. For yourself, there are spirits that are dedicated towards destroying families, making sure that all ladies that are married return back to their parents' house, making sure that men who are doing well, when they get married, go down, making sure people make mistakes in marriage, making sure that families don't receive children. Valentine is not just the time of eating and whatever it is. Since the world has decided to celebrate it, let me speak a grace on you. Everything that concerns your family life, I'm praying for you. This week, may God visit you in a strange way. 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 Visit your family. Visit your spouse. Visit your children. In the name of Jesus. For families that have been quarreling, living at loggerheads, may this week be the week of reconciliation. 
in the name of Jesus. And I speak as a man of God over you. Let this be the year of strange miracle marriages. Strange miracle marriages. I say it again, strange miracle marriages. Every power that has vowed that you will not enjoy that blessing, let that power be cursed now forever. In the name of Jesus. Anybody who is around your life, wasting your time and wasting your life, lying to you and deceiving you, this week, may God expose them. I'm not just saying with respect to love, oh. with respect to anything, not just love. Some of you are shouting amen just because you think I'm still talking about love. I finished the issue of love. Anybody in your life who is deceiving you and wants to be a Judas, I don't know why I'm praying this prayer. I say it again this week. May the God of my covenant expose them. I decree and declare over your people shame and reproach from this day comes to an end forever comes to an end forever I decree and declare wherever the helpers of your destiny are whether they are in Abuja in Lagos in the north the south east west Europe America far west wherever they are between now and the end of the month the month is not ended yet i gravitate them towards your destiny every long-standing issue you have prayed you have fasted it has refused to change i release my faith with you and i declare this is the season of change for you in the name of jesus christ May the Lord give you a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. For someone, God will take away sleep from your helpers like Ahasuerus and make them open the book of remembrance towards you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whoever must come into your life for your rising, wherever they are, may they come speedily. Everywhere your job is, may God locate you and take you there. Everywhere your finance is for this season, can I pray against the spirit of debt and borrowing? In the name of Jesus, anyone who is in a financial situation now, I give you one month by prophecy. May the God of all grace bring you out of it now. Every family that has not risen, you have not seen the hand of God, the testimony of God helping men from your father to your mother to your siblings to you. Every one of you in concert receives strange testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus. The gift that the Lord has put within you. I stir it up by the anointing. And I declare may it bring you profiting. 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 You profiting. What you have been looking for. I command it to start looking for you. Ah, 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 hear this one. What you have been looking for, may he start looking for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every confusion in your life, may the spirit of grace bring clarity to your life now. Everyone who is discouraged and downcast, you are wondering what will become of your life. I want to speak to you. In the name of Jesus, you will have the last laugh in this life. Anyone under the sound of my voice appointed unto death. I declare may death pass over you. May death pass over you. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the country. You are blessed in Abuja. 
blessed in Lagos, blessed in America, blessed in UK, all over Europe, all over Africa. Return as a sign and a wonder. Return as a testament of God's favor. In the name of Jesus. Let me take a minute and speak over all who have sown seeds, giving, standing with us. I just felt stirred in my heart to do that. People give. The things that you see us do, it is based on the givings, the faithful givings of God's people. And I just felt stirred tonight to pray over everyone who has given, not just here in Nigeria, but across the globe, UK, America, Canada, people have given for our meetings coming. People have given even in the house. People have sown into my life as a man of God. I stretch my hands. God is not a fraudster. God is not a scammer. He doesn't play games with people. In the name that is above all names, you have sown to this ground. It is good ground. Therefore, receive a hundredfold harvest. Therefore, receive a hundredfold harvest. A harvest of prosperity. A harvest of wisdom. A harvest of helpers. A harvest of joy. A harvest of help. In the name of Jesus. May you never do anything alone in your life. God will raise people to stand with you. To stand by you. To stand for you. In the name of Jesus. Quarter to shame. May God raise help us for you. Now let me speak over your spiritual life. Everything attacking your prayer life. Attacking your word study life. Attacking your zeal and your passion for spiritual things. It dies permanently right now. May your prayer life be fanned back to flames. May your word study life be fanned back to flames. May your passion for the house of God be fanned back to flames. May your appetite for spiritual things be fanned back to flames. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, I call you Beulah and Hephzibah. Beulah and Hephzibah. You are like a well-watered garden. I call you a wealthy place. An oasis springing possibilities in the name of Jesus you will not beg and you will not borrow yet you will not lack in the name of Jesus these hands that are lifted remain lifted forever they will not go down the Lord is your shepherd he will guide you in paths of righteousness he restores your soul in the name of Jesus your enemies will not see your back your enemies will not see your face. Their plans will end as vanity. But as for you, the Lord is your lifter. He will lift your head. He will give you speed. No delay. No retrogression. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Advance. Progress. In destiny. And I pray for you, the kind of honor and favor you have never seen. This week, may God bring this as a witness to your life. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, this week, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, everything that has not been working, everything that represents a disappointment, I stand upon this grace and I decree and declare, may it begin to work in your life. Hear me, the same way you left your home and you came here and nothing stopped you, where you need to live and go to, may nothing stop you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The same way when you left your home, there were many roads, but you knew the exact road to follow to get to this place every confusion around your life may god show you the exact thing to do now 
in the name of Jesus for all of you who are here when you got to the gate the gate did not close against you therefore I declare every gate that has closed against you I open it now in the name of Jesus Christ hear me there are many things you need in your life but you do not have the currency to buy them the wisdom as currency to buy the favor as currency to buy every spiritual currency you need to transact supernaturally and bring to your life results may that currency be supplied you now in the name of Jesus hear me if you have submitted anything on the desk of your helper and they have forgotten you this week may it be a week of remembrance for you I prophesy this week may it be a week of remembrance for you hallelujah you are exempted from kidnappers I say it again you and your children are exempted from kidnappers in the name of Jesus you are exempted from accidents you are exempted from the evils of the day in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for you finally this grace called favor that can come upon your life as a mantle and turn your life around I decree and declare it is a signature grace in this ministry therefore I pray carry that grace now carry that grace now find favor with men find favor even with Egyptians find favor with systems find favor with structures in the name of Jesus be great by favor rise by favor thrive by favor in the name of Jesus Christ finally everything that has brought tears to your eyes I decree and declare your weeping comes to an end now let it become a season of laughter for you in Jesus name I pray hallelujah hear me you have any gift upon your life that can announce you to the nations but who to connect with may be what is missing I pray for you right now that gift stops being silent from today that gift stops being silent from today those who need your gift may they find you those who need your gift may they find you those who can reward you for your gift may they find you in the name of Jesus therefore I declare over these requests by the power of the Holy Spirit the next request you will be writing will be for others not for yourself again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray amen and amen amen and amen amen and amen, amen. the hands that are lifted no power will bring them down your hand represents your productivity I say it again the hands that are lifted not by witchcraft not the wickedness of men not the antagonisms of negative people no power will bring your hand down no power will silence your voice surely they will gather but they will not sustain the ability to diminish your influence in the name of Jesus Christ finally let me pray for you and I want you to receive this whatever makes you use your money to service sickness use your money to service police cases court cases you never have the opportunity to enjoy the blessings of God upon your life that God has been faithful but your money is always used to resolve tragedy from today may tragedy be too late for your life did you hear what I said may tragedy be too late for your life too late for your life too late for your business too late for your ministry too late for your family in the name of Jesus shout a sevenfold amen two three four five six 
seven. Give Jesus a hand clap of praise and a shout of victory. The prophetic controls restoration. The prophetic controls redemption. The prophetic controls deliverance. When it is administered within the boundary of scripture, it works wonders. There are some of you, you have cried unto the Lord in secret, but this deliverance will not come through your own prayers. No, but I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer in partnership with the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. In one minute, right where you are, I'd like you to begin to pray. Thou son of David, have mercy upon me. Thou son of David, have mercy upon me. Is a businessman praying. Is a man of God who has lost his glory, lost the grace and the favor Parash kateba la kasieta, egra kateba 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 rakatos, skata prakata bela kata pras kata bela kata bekata. And I know that this shall turn for my salvation through your prayer. And I know that this shall turn for my salvation through your prayer. And the supply of the Spirit of Christ Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Let the doors open again, oh God. Let the favor come again. Let my honor return again. Let my hair grow back again. Let shame and reproach leave my destiny. Let the statement Ichabod give way. Go ahead and pray. Please Koinonia pray. Where is that grace that was once upon me? that I never had to beg for jobs. Let it return, oh God. Restore, 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 redeem, deliver. Deliver by the Spirit. The Lord will rescue us from every evil attack, the Bible says, and to bring us safely to his heavenly kingdom. Prodigal son, your father is still alive. There is still hope for the signet ring to return to your hands. Someone pray. You can pray for your loved ones. We give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. We give you worship, worship, the deepest praise to the King. Muy maca su chara taken all the weakness you have taken all limitations you have taken all the sorrow you have taken away disappointment you've taken away my tears you have made them yours
By the arm of flesh, I cannot prevail. One more minute. You are pouring your heart before Jesus, the deliverer, the helper, the restorer, the redeemer. His arms are not too short that it cannot save. His ears are not too dull that he cannot hear. Your iniquity has brought a separation between you and him. Pray the prayer of the prodigal son. For someone you need to pray the prayer of Jonah. For someone you need to pray the prayer of Hezekiah. The prayer of Hezekiah. Only the living can praise you. The dead cannot praise you. The weak cannot praise you. The defeated cannot praise you. Arise for your namesake in my life. Hallelujah. 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 Every once and again in scripture, you will read a very comforting rendition after tragedies. And the Lord remembered. And the Lord remembered Sarah. And the Lord remembered Hannah. And the Lord remembered Rachel. And the Lord remembered Leah. And the Lord remembered Joshua Selman. And the Lord remembered Koinonia. minute before I speak over your life I want you to mention the areas where deliverance must come for you now please mention it before God some of you you have lost your honor you have lost your reputation you have lost your integrity cry restore some of you you have lost the capacity that grace for wealth some of you you have lost certain dimensions of the operations of the spirit some of you, you have lost the gift of man. Go ahead and pray. Manasana paraka sevele sali kahasia da barantusye. Shakre gevede kete balakata praska baraka toshka pray. Skade manashalanda skavreska barasu presh. Ekriya da kete fraska balakata. Oh, restore, 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 restore. What's that our song on restoration? Take it high for me. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore. You will restore. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore you will restore. One more time. Restore.
Hallelujah. I want you to receive the prophetic word now. When God sends us, we come in the name of the Lord. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore the honor that was lost. Restore you will restore restore everything that was lost restore my god everything that was stolen restore everything that was lost restore you will restore come Play the saxophone for me. Go ahead. I want to prophesy. I'm just walking by the Spirit. And when that happens, I'm going to begin to speak. Go ahead. in the name of Jesus Christ let me start with those who have lost things you have lost things in the name that is above all names I'm praying now here at Koinonia by the power that raised Christ from the dead from Abuja to Zaria to UK to US to Canada across Africa Koinonia global and indeed the body of Christ I stand by the privilege of the election of grace and I decree and declare let there be a restoration now 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 tragic events that don't have an explanation from losses financial depletions the death of loved ones the loss of relationships closed doors in the name of Jesus the spirit that is behind it I come by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic I decree and declare that spirit gives way now 
That spirit gives way now. That spirit gives way now. Every mark upon your head, you may not see it, but it keeps calling tragedies to your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of the eternal covenant, I wipe that mark from your face now. I wipe that mark from your destiny now. Hear me. Everyone you have lost favor with, lost touch with, in this place tonight, by the mercy of God, I command restoration. I command reconnection. I command restoration. I command reconnection in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray specifically for those who are in any kind of financial trouble. I've owed people before. I know what it means. The, 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 the pain only God can explain what it takes to not be able to have a sound sleep because there are bills you are owing whether institutionally whether corporately whether personally none of them is profitable i pray for you the same grace that brought the axe head from the waters in the name of jesus every financial situation you have gotten into that is leaving you now with shame and embarrassment by the power that raised Christ from the dead before the end of 2023 come out of that situation come out of that situation by the ministry of men come out of that situation by the ministry of favor come out of that situation by the ministry of wisdom come out of that situation by the ministry of mercy come out of that situation in the name of Jesus Christ for those who have lost time delay has happened in your life and the truth is that time has gone even if the constraint were taken away from your life it will take grace for you to catch up I pray for you there is speed and there is restoration these are the two mysteries that help men to redeem time the Bible says redeeming the time because the days are evil and there are two spiritual forces allocated for time redemption one is called speed another is called restoration when God wants to help you you will experience both restoration brings yesterday into tomorrow speed moves you further into your tomorrow I pray for you by the force of speed and the force of restoration may time be redeemed now may time be recovered now by the forces of speed and the forces of restoration may time be redeemed now everyone here who is under any curse any diabolic manifestation the scourging tongues of men according to Job chapter 5 one of the six things that he says God would deliver us from anyone who is a victim of that I pray for you here at Koinonia in the name of Jesus be delivered from any and all evil be delivered from any and all evil now hear me some of you perhaps what you are going through is because of the pain that you cause for others maybe in your time of ignorance and you cause pain for maybe your parents or you cause pain for a man of God and in their pain or some woman some intercessor and some of them in their pain they hit their chest and made declarations to the heaven that you will not prosper some of them have died today some of them have gone away you need help I stand by the advantage of priesthood everybody who has spoken negatively maybe your biological parents maybe a man of God you ignored maybe somebody that you cause pain in their life in their family I call upon the God of all grace and mercy this night let that curse come to an end over your life let that curse come to an end over your life where they said you will die 
I prophesy leave. Where they said you will fail, I prophesy go and excel. Where they said your children would do the same negative thing, I midwife by prophecy. May your children be Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ. That out of their pain they said it will never be well with you I call upon the God of mercy because today you are the righteous I say to you it shall be well Hezekiah where Isaiah has told you the sickness is unto death I stand in the name of Jesus Christ as an able minister of the New Testament and I pray for you live long and fulfill your days Live long and fulfill your days. Let me prophesy to Ruth. You've lost your husband, lost your children. And you have said, do not call me all that name. Call me Mara. It is bitter. Call me all of that. And Naomi has tried to comfort you. Oh Ruth, hear the word of the Lord. There is still the second phase of your life. You are yet to meet Boaz. You are yet to become part of the lineage of Jesus. Therefore, by prophecy, I open up the new season of your life. Gideon, you may be the weakest and your father's house the weakest. But in the name of Jesus, I speak to you like the angel spoke to Gideon. From tonight, go in this your might. Hallelujah. You may be like Mary and Martha. Martha said if you had come earlier, he would, have, he would not have died. But I like what she said. Even now, even now, even now. It didn't happen in 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. But even now, even now, November, I decree and declare, may your eyes see your desire before December. The final prophetic declaration please hear me every grace that God has deposited in this house that is not yet speaking in your life I release my faith one more time in the name of Jesus perhaps through dishonor perhaps through carelessness lack of discernment all of these things that I mentioned you are not having it work in your life I agree with you by faith and we stand together as a noble family of faith I declare may this grace rest on your life May this grace rest on your life. Amen. Hallelujah. When Sarah bore Isaac, she named him laughter. And she said that God has made me to laugh. And all who hear me will laugh with me. I decree and declare by this prophetic word, let crying, mourning, weeping come to an end. Amen. Because the Bible says, Weeping may endure for the night, but it says joy comes with the morning. And the Bible says he called the light day and the darkness he called night. That means when light comes, it is your day. Now that light has come, I command the night to cease. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you for staying to the end of this video. Thank you. We are very, very appreciative of your presence in this community this is a community of believers we are here to enlighten ourselves through the word of god through practical life applicable teachings so if you have not subscribed to this channel please do subscribe to this channel if you have not liked this video please just take two seconds and just hit that like button and share this video with others to bless someone just as you have been blessed by this video. It is only God that can do the impossible. And when you are faced with impossibility in your life, the only place to run to, the only person to run to is God. And that is why we encourage ourselves to keep studying the word of God, to keep praying, fasting, to keep meditating on the word of God so that God will come through for us. Have a nice time. God bless you. See you in another of our videos. And there are so many videos that we have posted so far. Go through our channels. Go through our channel and 
check on our videos and see how impactful they are going to be in your life. Thank you. God bless you. Keep shining for Jesus. Keep shining for God. Peace.